Attack, attack for three months. Many of us will not see it through. We keep hoping. It would not be so bad if it was the last effort that would be required of us. Gad, people can't imagine the life that we are leading. At times the morale gets pretty low. What we would give for a broken leg or arm now. Many would sacrifice either of them to be finished once and for all. I suppose it is right that the life of millions should be sacrificed for the general welfare. We are all insignificant units, but from a personal point of view, it is atrocious, unfair, the sacrifice on the sum. Good morning, I wish I was playing Baldur's Gate 3 right now, but instead I'm uh, on loop, uh, casting a game played as part of the SDL August Monthly between myself, Hippie, playing as Second Panzer, which I believe is one of the best divisions in the game right now, and I'm up against TKS, which I think is one of the not best games, uh, not not best divisions in the game right now. So we're on loop. Uh, let's talk about the map. Um, I'm on the bad side because I'm a bad player. Loop, three zones, two rivers. Uh, what's going on? Basically, blue gets the town for free because red gets to about here when blue gets to here. Over here, it's basically even. Um, you know, blue gets the town, red gets the forest, and because of this big hill here, it's very difficult for either player to push into the other. So you're obviously building advantage, but because it's so difficult to push, it's not, it's not too much in that. Generally, blue gets all this, and red just sits here all game. And on this side, uh, it is actually blue favoured a bit more than I thought it was. So blue can get to here with a forward deployed unit uh, in the time it takes red to get to here. And... Yeah, um, so so in that in the same vein, blue can actually get a unit into here, pathed on the road faster than red's forward deployment can get in there. And blue gets this this thing here, this uh, these buildings, and that helps you with getting people in there. And red can stop that by putting a putting a something here or here or you know like like here, and then you can shoot things. But yeah, this, this is a good spot. Or even back here, if you don't want these buildings to shoot you, you can put it back there. A tank gun and it can get anything coming across this bridge. So, I got one chance, one shot. Basically, I'm never getting into Echo. Although it looks like he doesn't really expect me to do that. So, I need to get everybody into Foxtrot and try and take Foxtrot. He'll get Echo for free. And then from then, uh, we can, you know, spend the rest of the game taking trades. So, I open with two CVs. I've learned... Uh, my lesson, so we're going India Delta with this one, and with this one we're going Hotel Golf. I know that wherever I don't put a unit, he'll send a guy down that road to kill me, that's how many plays. Uh, you need a guy with AT capability on every single road, otherwise he will go down that road and kill you. So we got a Lux to cover these two roads, and we got a Pioneer Arm Burst to cover this road, and an M40A1 to cover this road. Covering, well, for the, for the left, we got a Milan 2 going here with a Lux for Recon. So forward deployed Milan 2, you'll see, you'll see that this guy will get into this building before this guy even gets there. Then we've got uh, two Fliegerfaust. They're going to like around here somewhere, I think. I can't remember. Yeah, they are. They're going to there. Uh, we got some Pioneer Armburst. One Pioneer Armburst to here, one Pioneer Armburst to here. And remember, we've got one go to here from the other side. That's because I expect him to come down one of these roads. Uh, so, bish, bash, bosh. One of them was going to here. And then these four Zikrungs are all going to here. They're backed up by a 120mm Mrs. Tampella. And that's going to smoke this off. But I've since learned that you need to smoke here instead. And then one 55-point uh, quote-unquote tank. <laughs> These are really good, actually, uh, particularly because the price of everything just keeps going up. Apparently, the way to fix spam is to just make everything more expensive, so eventually we just get tactical. We're just playing tactical. Great. And, yeah, these are good because they got a high fire rate on the tank gun, and they've got a 50 car, and they've got 5 armor. And then two Leopard 185s, these are good because they've got a good gun for their price. The armor's pretty bad, but the idea is that this goes first, and the infantry goes first. So that about covers it for my deployment. Switch it. Oh, and I, th I think I brought a plane. I can't actually remember. I don't think I did. Whatever, we'll find out. Switch it to that, my adversary. He's securing the town. Green Berets. Jaeger Aufklärer. Uh, Milan 1. Going to there, presumably. 
Yeah, and the Pioneer Flam going to there. West German Pioneer Flam is not so great, uh, but uh, better than nothing, I suppose. And then, yeah, well, look, we got Air Mobiles going to here. Well, he's trying to land it in the forest. That's not going to work. Um, that'll slow it down. Green Berets going to the church for vision. You get Alf Clear go to there for vision. And then we've got uh, two Milan ones. And one's going to here, one's going to there, because, yeah, he's going to use this bridge, as we spoke about. Zikarungs, that hasn't been passed. Uh, two supplies going to here. CV for Bravo, but it's not been passed on to anything else. A Hot 2, an AMX 10RC, and an FS Jaeger B1. So these guys are all right, 60 points, satchel, strength, etc. Um, so they're going to get in here. And this is going to stop anybody getting in. And uh, this should also stop anybody getting in. But we outnumber him significantly. So that about does it for the deployment. And I'll cast from my perspective as per the usual. Right, so the game has started. And everybody's going to where we said they were going to go. And while we zoom in on these beautiful tanks. Uh, they're quite loud actually. Let's zoom in on something a bit quieter. Like this beautiful, stealthy AMX 10RC. Even though it's basically the same size as a Leopard 1. It's got medium stealth. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, I do appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, if you could leave a comment, I'd appreciate it. I do like the comments. They do actually help the algorithm and stuff, but generally I just like reading the comments. It lets me know that there's some audience interaction. I accidentally pressed shift five times and I got the sticky keys thing. And uh, yeah, I'm plus two. So yeah, I did buy a Gina rocket at the start. And my opponent bought an Alpha Jet Cluster. So there we go, AMX 10 beats Lux. That's fair enough, really. Um, the Gina beats the uh, the Gazelle, and it gets good shots off on that. But he's also got this other fighter. Oh, it's been a minute now, so he, he bought that Mirage 2000. He bought that, so he's, he's winning. He's winning in the air. You see he got in here as well, um, although obviously I, I unloaded. And now I have to unload these guys, otherwise this will kill them. Bought a Tornado to try and kill that Alpha Jet, but this Mirage is still here. Oh, it's another one. He's bought another Mirage. And he does get me. Uh, I bought... Yeah, so so that he, he absolutely messes me up with his much cheaper play in there, but that's just because I'm a bad player, clearly. Thankfully, he loses the AMX-10RC, because it was shooting his Flieger first, and this Milan 2 finally got it. And it had already used its smoke here, if you recall. I'm trying to get that early point lead, as we spoke about. And, um, yeah, it's working out for us so far, where I've got 130 points up. This, in theory, would mean that he should be pushing into me for the rest of the game, and that, that is the plan. And as we see, he tried to sneak somebody in here, he saw this arm burst, he had to drop him here. And, uh, yeah, that's what these, these those Gina rockets, they're really useful for this sort of thing. Because second doesn't have attack healers, like, usually you'd send an attack healer over here, just kill this, and then just leave before a plane comes. Um, but you don't have that, so you got to use planes instead, and a recon helicopter. Uh, or, you know, I use the infantry to recon. It takes so long to kill everybody, so he's going for this building. And I saw him walking across this field, and I sent this guy to kill this. I did, do I see him going across that field? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, no, I'll see him because of this when he gets to here. Okay. Um, as you can see, he tried to send somebody down this road, so I blew it up. Like I said, if you leave one road open, you get somebody down there. So this had something in it. I don't know what it was. This Gina rocket decides he only wants to fire 18 missiles out of one of his two rocket pods. And here comes the Mirage. I don't evac in time. And my tornado's dead. Because the Mirage killed it. So this Gina's not long for this world. Although he... He evacs before... So I'm quite surprised by that. If he just stuck around and used the guns, he could have killed that. But I guess he thought the tornado was coming. Tornado was not coming, though. So sometimes you got to take that risk. Oh, no, never mind. Here's the tornado. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, so now we're going to try on this Mirage. And we can shoot before he can shoot. And we win that fight. And then we both evac. But I'm going to turn and I'm going to get some missiles off on him. And I do get two missiles off and I do kill him. So this time goes my way. Um, 50 points more expensive plane. But, uh, yeah, uh, plane combat, pretty RNG focused. Pretty RNG heavy, to be honest. And my Lux here died to this hot, so I know he's coming down this road now, so I deploy this guy here, because I know he's going to attack there. I've got my small lead, I'm going to play it nice and slow, uh, after the 40 minute slog of last game, where I, if you've not seen that already, uh, I'll put it in the description if I remember. After the, uh, Spoilers for the last game, after that 40 minute slog where I almost lost at the end, um, well I mean at least I took terrible trades. 
I uh, decided that, uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna just be a defender. <laughs> so these Milan 2s, so, um, sorry, a Milan 1 will one-shot a Leopard 1A5. No, hang on. A Milan 2 will one-shot a Leopard 1A5. A Milan 1 will not one-shot a Leopard 1A5, it will two-shot it. So, like I said about the Gina's really useful for these kind of close range things, and we actually get that Milan on our way past, but here comes the Mirage again. Um, and so, yeah, I'm losing Gina's at a horrible rate, and yeah, so it's not great. It's not great. I'm losing the air game pretty hard here. And there we go. Fire my AA. He's pinging it. Uh, he knows about the Flieger Fast, he knows about the Gepard, so after your AA shoots, you should always move it, basically, because the whole it's around is usually what's coming the other way. So here we go, now he's sending this to recon this, because he wants to send people down here. And, uh, yeah, we're crossing the bridge, and this guy isn't really in a position to support, just because of the wacky sight lines of this building and these trees and stuff. So I thought he was, but he's not, I'd have to send him here. So this man is just running towards some Zikrunks. He's trying to bomb me with this high altitude bomber, but he misses. And, yeah, he's trying to get in here, but i, I got units in here. Does he see it in time? I don't think he will. No, so he loses that. Does have this tank here and this tank here, though. These are the same thing I've got, 55 points. Um, second Panzer, pretty good. So now we see the Gazelle Cannon versus Lux. And because uh, <laughs> the thing just never stops shooting. I mean, it's pretty crazy. It's just like an endless barrage. So, um, so yeah, they're, they're still all right. I mean, obviously the the normal ones have gone up to like fifty points, but uh, the it's just because ground based auto cannons are terrible. Basically, that just didn't do anything. Um, but yeah, it, it is what it is. And so he's bought an IHawk and he's putting it here, which is is really is a really forward deployment. So that's really going to mess my AA up. And you see that he's trying to drop this here. This guy's going to do some missing, but he'd have to get two hits anyway to kill that. And he's got this Zikarungs, right? And he's just walking it around, trying to find my CV. I'm trying to shoot him with all my guys. But because the game is garbage, um, they're not doing any damage. Like, he's just walking past them as they shoot. And so he's just revealing the CV for this bomber. Um, yeah, it is what it is, really. Yeah, I mean, I hope it's going to miss. Uh, but the Gepard does force a route. And, yeah, I'm just, you know, I've got everybody shooting at him. We're right next to each other. It's just not doing anything. So I, I just queued this around in circles. And, uh, yeah, he's just running around trying to find it so he can kill it. Um, my tornado gets smacked by that eye hawk, so I know about that now. The gazelle hot 2 died to that. And here we go. He's trying to drop somebody here, as as we knew. And that's why this was here. So we bought a fleeg of fouls, but he's not queued up the order, so I'm not sure what's going on there. So, yeah, he's still trying to spot the CV for the bombers. Bombers are still coming in. Um, we get that one. The IHOC hits and the Gepard finishes it off. So, great. We survived. We finally killed him. He had about two minutes of vision from that one unit. We now got two IHOCs. So, he sends another bomber. And, uh... I didn't survive. I died. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, really interesting strategy. It's just because infantry is so tanky. That's why we call it the Walking Dead. Um, it is what it is. But yeah, I know he's trying to attack down here. So we got the looks here. And we're moving up these Pioneer Armour. It's got the Flieger Fowls because of that Gazelle Cannon. Uh, we do manage to get here. Um, he does have Armour. So if he just drives into me there, it's going to be a problem uh, for him. Although I am stunned up pretty heavily. Yeah, so he unloads in time. Uh, I should have moved this guy back, really. I really should have moved this guy back. So I buy another CV, but the whole point of this strategy is that because the the winds are... Because the game is so slow and it's so hard to take zones, all you do is you get a small point lead at the start, or you just like snipe a CV in, in a contested zone, and then you get a small point lead and that's all you need. Uh, and then the enemy has to attack you for the rest of the game. So I did the early CV start to force him to attack into me for the rest of the game, although I did have to attack here... And uh, now he's done the uh, walk zicker runs around your CV while surrounded by enemies and nothing bad happens to them. Uh, because apparently that's gameplay. And uh, yeah, uh, I guess I could have kept moving my CV. Uh, <laughs> like yeah, I stopped it because I thought it was over, but it wasn't. Um, but it's not bought him enough time, basically. 
This guy's probably going to die to all this. This Zikrungs is in here, and the Flieger Faust will uh, will do some supporting. He missed his last one. I missed this one as well. No AT, so can't just dunk that green berets. And I didn't know about this Milan 2. But yeah, here we go, back to even Stevens, 30 minutes left. Send us the Alpha Jet for this recon helicopter. Four Flieger Faust here probably aren't going to cut it. Like, this one's not even going to get a chance to shoot. <laughs> um, That one didn't shoot. That one didn't shoot, it was just this one. That's fair enough, they're very cheap. <laughs> I think that's fine. So we're buying IHawk for this. And over here, we're attacking into here. Sadly, this guy killed somebody, and he does hit this Geppard. Um, we did smoke, but not really enough. So yeah, th this I didn't know about until I began the attack. And now I'm going to try and extend my point lead by driving this in there. Because if he just keeps sniping my CVs like that, I'm going to lose by 20 points after 40 minutes or something. And I'd rather not be in a position where I have to attack. This time, this guy eats two Fliegerfaust. So like I said, I, I actually think Fliegerfaust and Strellas are OP. Um, so we get that with this Milan 2 as he drives across here to try and kill that Gepard. And we're now in the zone. So we're going to extend that point lead a little bit. Gets those high altitude bombers back, but he doesn't know exactly where I am. Um, it looks like he changed that, because he actually could have killed that. <laughs> but uh, it looks like he just changed it. One of them eats an IHOC. Got two IHOCs here. I should be moving them after every shot, but I accidentally sold this transport, so I can only move this one. I'm not moving either. This Milan 2 is in a good spot. Or at least it's about to be. Like, I still don't know about it. I sent these two guys to figure out what was going on, because I knew that he dropped somebody over here, and I've got this back here. The thing is, if I send it forwards, he'll just send a plane to kill it. So, the Gepard's is doing alright. The Jaeger Avkleila, I think, got hit by the own bombs. Over here, he tried to send somebody in a Super Puma, and this Flieger Faust, or maybe, maybe this Flieger Faust, I don't know, something killed it. Might have been a plane. So over here it turns out it does have Milan 2s as well. But the thing with TKS is that the Milan 2s come in 50% uh, come in 50 accuracy variants and 45% accuracy variants, but sometimes they just both shoot and hit. But yeah, the uh, the Milan 2s come in Super Pumas, and the Milan uh, they don't get a ground transport option, so that's why some people bring both, or just the Milan 1s. So Milan 1s can come in cars. So now he's trying to push across here, but this one tank will hold all that off. Uh, particularly when it's so blobbed up like that. But yeah, you got to watch out for these Milans. That Milan 2, that will one-shot this. Uh -oh. So I turn my front armor, it doesn't matter, it's going to one-shot it. Because uh, the Milan 2 one-shots a Leopard 1. You should know that if you don't already. So now I've like mega reinforced this, because I can see what's going on. And I put an IHawk here. Uh, and I bought a second CV for mid, because I, I can see what's going on. Like, I've got a pretty good point lead. For some reason he's not deployed this. Um, these guys trade. That's good for me. He only gets four of those. I get about six Leopard 1A5s at 2 vet, I think. And yeah, we're trying to clear this guy out here now. He's got the CV ready. Well, it looks like he'll be coming this way. And yeah, we're just popping the smoke there. Although the CV, I drove it out. I drove the CV out, and he finally unloads this. He wasn't unloading it. If you click your unit card, then click Y, and then click on the map, then it, when it deploys, it will automatically unload it. So click the unit card in the top left. Click, Press Y on your keyboard, and then click on the map. So we've got some air mobiles here trying to reinforce this, but, you know, I've still got these Flieger first. I was going to say, that seems like a long range, but no, I was going for this. Um, yeah, it's really something. I think Fliegerfaust and Strella should be uh, 3HE, like they used to be. Because uh, the fact that you can one-shot a very expensive 4HP helicopter just on this dice roll. So, this guy is now flying into this IHawk. And... Because of the splash and how close they were, one IHOC hit kills both of them. So this deals 9 damage and they've got 8 HP. So he loses both of those because he was too. Like, he originally wanted to deploy it back here, which would have worked, but the IHOC got to it. So he loses both of those ammo mobiles. That's like 1 minute's income just died there. 
So I'm pretty sure that's like 110 times 2, so 240, something like that. And now I'm reinforcing this, because I figure I'm, I'm not going to attack anymore. Um, I'm not going to do what I did last game and overextend. He wants to bait me into overextending, be my guest. I'm just going to sit here and take trades. I've got the point lead. <laughs> It's an unpleasant way to play, but that's the matter. Get a small point lead and just sit there. Uh, it's very sad, but it is the way it is. As you saw in the games against Joe Katard, I lost my CV for like a few seconds in, in the zone, and then that was it. That was me out of the game, because I had to spend the rest of the game attacking, and he didn't have to do that. So uh, that That's the matter. It's, uh, it's very rubbish attacking. Difficult at the best of times. So like I said, I'm not attacking anymore, so here I am sending this pioneer on this down here. And uh, yeah, now he's sending a Milan 2 over there. He's got the CV ready, but uh, I have units here, and this is quite close to my spawn. See, so, yeah, I'm not attacking anymore, though we know we're attacking. So I bought some Leopard 1s to send around here to attack over here. And uh, Gepard behind it, I'm not going to attack. Uh, I'm just going to play meta, I'm not going to attack. I see this, so I decide to go for it. Uh, sadly... You know, I really think there should be a bit of a buff against, uh, you know, you get two two near hits on a helicopter with a howitzer because it's on the ground. I feel like that should uh, that should do a bit more than it's doing. Um, but it's just the HP because there's no buff or anything. It's a 12 HP, 3 HE. you got to hit that four times when it's on the ground to kill it. Even though it's a, you know, a helicopter. It is what it is. So he knows that I'm trying some over here, so he's sending people, Fliegerfaust, Milan, Kanj, PZ. These things have gone up to 50 points, so they're just shit now. I mean, I don't understand why they're 50 points. That's way too expensive um, for what it is. So it's, it's got a gun and an MG3 and three armor. This is 55. This is actually a reasonably priced vehicle. No doubt the solution to this will just be to make this more expensive. And this has got 50 cal, 5 armor, and same gun, pretty sure. Um, and it's five points more. That's good. Do you see what I mean? Kanj PZ too expensive. Should be 40. Used to be 30. Not quite sure why the price keeps going up. It's one of the few things that kills infantry, though, because autocannons don't do anything. So that was the thing, that you would buy it in place of autocannons. In place of IFVs, you would buy this. But now it's it's more expensive than an IFE. IFVs are a bit useless. I'm clearly not paying attention here. I mean, I got lucky. The first two missed. Damn. So it takes two Leopard 1A5 shots to kill Kanj PZ. So yeah, the Milan 2, you got a two-shot Leopard with Milan 2. But the thing is, when these AC gems are coming towards me, I don't know if it's a Milan 1 or a Milan 2. Um, so you always got to assume that it's a Milan 2 and you've always got to smoke your vehicle. That guy dies anyway. <laughs> Let's send the Zikarungs forwards, because uh, infantry gate zuerst, as they say, auf Deutsch. And here we go, three mortars again. I'm moving this Zikarungs up to see what's over here. I tried to move this up, but he ran into that. So so I sent it back to heal, and then I didn't heal it, and then I sent it back again. So that's uh, really intelligent. Over here, he sees my play, because obviously it's this is very close to his spawn. It's not particularly close to my spawn. Um, but yeah, I'm just bringing the howitzers, just going to gently howitzer him. And... That, that's weird. So, you see how that's not in range? Do you see, do you see how that's not in range? Like, that, that's... that's the... What? I guess the circle is just being drawn wrong. Uh, whatever. Anyway, he's going to bomb this now, so I should move it, but I'm not paying enough attention. I now see the CV. So, I send the Gina rocket to kill it. Which, yeah, um, let's see what happens. <laughs> so congrats, it gets it, and then the IHOC, with its 55% accuracy, this doesn't have any ECM though, so he gets two shots, two hits, which is rough, um, and that was my last Gina rocket. So I shouldn't have done that really, I should have just noticed his CV was there, realised that he can never get it through here. But I just wanted to kill that CV thing is that Medi brings nine CVs and I only get three Gina rockets. So not really good for me to lose that Gina rocket. I could have used it later in the game. 
Um, but yeah, this IHOC position is really good. Bringing an IHOC that far up is really good. So I was trying to send these Zikrungs over here just to see what the hell's over there. But whenever I try and send these tanks down here, this Milan 2 shoots me. So here we go, Alpha Jet Cluster goes for the uh, the recon. I've got the Gepard, the Flieger Faust, and the Tornado out. So we get that. He now knows about the Gepard. He's got lots of guys here, but i got lots of Leopards here. Um... So now he's bringing in ground-based ATGMs because the air ones aren't going to cut it against the Flieger Faust and the Gepard. These guys should both be shooting. Oh, but I already killed that, so I guess that's a bit of an overkill. And now I'm trying to take this building, but it's already dead. And uh, Zitikrungs will usually lose, uh, win against Greenberries, even though Greenberries are like Special Forces, Shock, um, 45 points. These guys are like 25, 11 men. Basically... The way veterancy works in this game, it used to do a lot, now it doesn't. Um, training isn't a thing, unlike in Wargame. So all that really matters is the weapon, and until they add training as a proper factor... Because um, all we have is like 4 vet level 0, 1, 2, 3. As soon as they make veterancy worth more, uh, which has been undone, it used to be worth more, now it's worth less. Or they add training as a concept, like in Wargame, where you can get trained units and it would make you know, 15% fire rate if you're one level up, and there was those, like, five five veterancy levels, and there was also training, so you had militia, trained, shock, uh, elite, I think. Um, so until that happens, Green Berets will lose to Zikarungs every single time, because it's a smaller squad. It doesn't matter what buffs you give them, unless there's training. Um, so, yeah, we just have to put up with that. Zikrung's best infantry in the game. <laughs> KDA shuts some best infantry in the game. Wow. Incredible. So, yeah, he's trying to attack over here, and I figured he would do that, so I've just reinforced it with 20 million guys. And the mortars will do a bit, but not enough. And, like I said, he can't... He doesn't even have any fire support. But even if he did, it would have to get up this hill for it to do anything. Um... But yeah, I'm trying to attack over here. I lost a Pioneer on Burst Pyro. So we see that Milan 1. Um, is this guy getting a side shot? Whoa, it misses. Incredible. And yeah, th he, this is his heaviest tank, I think. No, he gets one at 65 points. So I'm not seeing that. He gets one at 65 points. That's like an upgraded version of this. Um, so obviously they're going to lose to Leopard 1. <laughs> Look at the stats, it's just not as good. Gun's better on leopards, pen's better, armor's better. It's just a better tank. Fleeger Faust here, not in the right place, needs to be up here because this hot two might be able to get an angle. I moved the Gepard up for it. I lost the Zikarungs over here, that was that one that I sent forwards. Remember when I said I wasn't going to attack? And I sent this guy forwards and he got bombed. Hot two went down to either this or that. And so I'm not going to attack anymore, so here I am sending this FS Jaeger Fuhrer into here. Uh, and these three Leopard 185s are going to do quite a bit of work against this infantry. So this is pro sort of the problem TKS has, that their tanks aren't great. And um, so you try and substitute that with Milan, like ground-based Milans, which need to get into position. You try and substitute it with air, stuff like that, helicopters. Um, but generally, you know, as long as I'm paying attention, I should be alright. I do need some recon here, though. So he tries an air wave, and um, yeah, we get that, we get that, we almost get that. So it doesn't really do anything. Oh, well, he gets one leopard, actually. He gets one leopard. So yeah, he just he's forced to send more infantry, and this is why second panzer is better than TKS now. It used to be the other way around. Back when you could do heli drops and stuff, you would just drop air mobiles all over the place. But they made helicopters more expensive, they made them move slower, they made people die when they fell from a helicopter. And then I assumed he was sending this for the tank, but he's not. He's sending it for the Gepard. Um, so that's my fault. I could have saved that Gepard. He does get the Mirage, though. Um, but we lose a Gepard. So that was my fault. Um, so I'm not attacking anymore, so here I am with my FS Jaeger Fuhrer. And uh, he's trying to bomb this leopard now. And my hoets are shooting. If your hoets aren't shooting, they're wasted. You should put them on fire at will if you don't have anything better to do. If you uh, if you don't have the micro capability. So the plan is, just put this guy in here, get the leopard set up, and um, force him to bring up like an infantry Milan team into these buildings. Because um, until he does so, 
Anybody sensei will just get smacked by these leopards. Sadly, we have one less than we had before. Got this guy on holding fire. We lost a leopard 185 here to that mortar, which I said wouldn't do anything, and it looks like it killed the leopard, so okay. I think 120mm mortars are in a good place, they actually do damage. Uh, the other mortars, 105s, 82s, they're still a bit weak, and then the light howitzers are too weak. Heavy howitzers. This class of heavy howitzer is alright, but then the heavier one, the uh, the 4.47 HEs, those 203s, whatever you want to call them, the marker, etc., they're useless. And the British one, the 175, that, that, that one's terrible, it's just useless. So it is what it is, um, waiting for Warno. Maybe Broken Arrow will come out before I become an old man. Well, this game's already made me an old man. So we are plus two, and we don't have a Gepard anymore, uh, and he knows about that. And the Thigafast is out of ammo. Over here, I tried to send that tank forwards, and this Milan 2 smacked it, and I didn't see it. So I was paying attention to this. And now uh, this guy will suffer the same fate. Oof. And yeah, I bought loads of tanks for when he tries to attack with smoke and infantry. I brought my own infantry. These guys are below the hill. That's weird, man. So, like, they're stuck on a lining instead of moving forwards. And it's just because of the hill. I thought they'd fix that. It's really... whatever. But yeah, that attack goes nowhere because I have... Attacking is hard, right? <laughs> and uh, I, have an, I have an equal number of troops here. Putting four guys in one building is not very smart, though. Uh-oh. Over here, um, Kanj PZ versus Leopard once. Uh, Kanj PZ appeared to be winning. <laughs> and yeah, I really should have put these guys on counter battery, but I wanted to shoot infantry. I thought he had self propelled mortars, but he doesn't. These are foot mortars. Uh, these guys should have all been moved because now they're taking free HE. Free is in freedom. Freedom to take HE. And so I just run this guy out. There's no point leaving him in there. I know it's going to be a 40 minute game. I need to keep my CVs alive. That gazelle kind of dies to this Flieger Faust. Uh, this guy needs to get out of here really. This guy needs to get out of here. But I settle with just getting a CV out. Sent a munition to come for those leopards. But they were dead by the time it got anywhere near there. This Jaeger goes down to these m 4 tiers. So I've reinforced this pretty hard. i got this uh, tow vehicle as well. And this is going for that. So we deploy the Tornado. F-104G, cheap high altitude bomber. Tornado, expensive plane. Slower. Uh, <laughs> it's slower. So I'm not going to catch it. And yeah, those M40s never fired. I... That's, that's dumb really. Oh, that was mine that died there actually. His is still alive. So here we go. Cause it was just because of the hill, I think. So I think now they'll shoot. But well, now I can see it. So you know, it's probably a good point. That it's probably good that it was behind the hill, as it'd be dead. So here we go. Now he's trying to send the Green Berets leader down here. That's why I've got the Fliegerfaust. That's why I've got the FS Jaeger. That's why I've got people in these houses. That's why I've got a guy on the far left of the map. Although that this one was was here. And I smoked to cover the retreat of my CV, which is a cool thing that you can do. One Flieger Fast hits, but it'll take three hits to bring down a Chinook with a Flieger Fast. Um, although if that Ihawk were to hit, it would still take two Ihawk shots. So, finally get that munitions vehicle. See, he never healed it up, so it'd just been sat there, and this time I had two ho Howitzers on it, and they, they got it. And we had corrected shot because of this Jaeger Avklerkler. And because of that, I can actually see these mortars. But I saw that he was moving them. And so I didn't actually go for the shot. Because I realised by the time I'd finished aiming, uh, it would be firing at the wrong place. Over here, this guy, I should have like sent him back here or something. I don't know. But I just left him there because he was out of ammo. And if he'd pulled across here, he would have died. So I sent it, should have sent him deeper in or like here or something. I don't know. But uh, either way, he's gone. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, mid, mid is still still nothing. I could attack, I don't see the point. I've done enough attack in this game, I've got 942 points. Um, he should attack. 
And now he's trying to snipe this. He's got a roll on two for it. But the uh, the three IHOCs will get him. Well, the first two hits is a bit unlucky, but even so, I would have got at least two shots from all of them. So between six missiles and the Fliegerfaust that he would fly over, uh, he was never getting back from that trip. So now I recognize that he's probably going to attack over here, so we just put some more guys in, some Zikarungs, some Recalls Rifles. This was already here, I think. Leopard 1. Um, hitting that with the mortars. I guess he's going to move them. Oh no, he's going forwards. And he's bought 155mm. That's going for this. It's the exact same helicopter, and the exact same thing will happen, where because there's only one, it won't do anything. Although putting the CV next to it, probably not a very smart idea. So there you go, he's going for this again. Because, and the reason he's doing that is because he's coming... So the first few times he did this to me, I was like, oh, he sniped my helicopter on the side of the map, I don't care, there's nothing over there. But the reason he's sniping your helicopter on the side of the map is because he intends to send guys over there. So, <laughs> it sounds obvious when I say it, doesn't it? But... You know. So I can't actually see that Milan 2 because I'm a tank and I don't have good optics and I've got no recon. So I buy the recon and I start moving this guy back. Leopard 1A5 died over here to that Milan 2, just killing all these leopards with one shot because this is a Milan 2. It one shots leopards. So I lost both of those and I didn't really have to. Could use a recon infantry here somewhere. So. After the last one died, I just bought another one, so now he's moving the Roland up to kill it. Could have used a tank here, but if you recall, I sent it down here and this Milan 2 killed it. He's essentially trying to find a space where I am not, but because the games now are so slow and tedious and everything takes so long to die, I can just be everywhere, uh, even on these really big maps. Um, so, wow, he gets that again, flies over all the IHawks. Um, that lets me know that he really cares about this place, so more reinforcements. Why, why else would he be suiciding his planes to kill one thing? No, it's because he cares about it. So, try and move these, except I don't, because I'm bad. I don't even resupply them. I'm a baddie. And we sent a Jaeger around to, to here, because I knew from when he shot the helicopter here that he would try and send somebody down this side. You see that I have a Zikarungs in the base, in case anything happens with that. I have a spare CV for the back line. I've got two CVs on the midline. Uh, you know, I've already won, I just need to make sure I don't throw, is uh, basically what's happening. So like I said, I'm not going to attack anymore, so here I am attacking some Jaeger. And this IHawk, I move into the path of the Howitzer. Nice. So yeah, I'm not attacking anymore, so here are my Jaeger dying on the offensive. It's a shaping attack, it's a probing attack, the real counter-offensive hasn't started yet, it's just shaping attacks, I'm just shaping the battlefield, I haven't actually attacked, this isn't my counter-offensive. Um, only the real OG will get that reference. And um, yeah, he's got lots of infantry here, that we know about, um, that's going to be a problem. So it gets the recon instead of the tank, which is good for him and bad for me. Really need infantry recon here. So yeah, attacking with all these Jaeger, a bit of a waste. I should have just defended, but I just can't I just can't sit still. I just wanna have fun. I just wanna have fun in my video game, but sadly, uh this matter isn't about fun. This matter is about high TTK, which isn't fun. And we get another munitions vehicle here because two howitzers will will get it, will get it. Like one won't, but apparently two will. Helps when you have. Uh... Hang on. And now we do not have corrected shot. That's interesting. So when I select my howitzers, the enemy's corrected shot comes up. What happens when I select his howitzers? Oh no, I see. It's just everybody's collective shots com corrective shots coming up. So like I said, I knew he was coming down here because he killed that uh, recon healer, so we sent another one. And oh, here's the CV. I'm so surprised. So I put four tornadoes in my deck because I was expecting to get air spammed. And I've still got two or three left. So we get that, and he won't survive the landing anymore, even though he's got 12 HP. Just because Eugen hates fun, and they removed that from the game. Even though he's got 12 HP, he does 5. So now he's attacking. Big attack coming. But I've got like two layers of defense here. Even if he takes this, I've still got this. 
Fliegerfaust actually hitting. Ihawk not shooting. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Right, missed. So, I get that. Fly over all those Rolands, but they're Roland 2s. Ihawk's pretty scary, though. Uh, Roland 2s not as good as Roland 3s, although they've still got 4,000 meters range. At least they're not firing, forget, like the Chaparral. And, um, yeah, you know, he's losing a lot of units. Over here, you know, he's got P-Form lands coming through here, but I've got units here. I've got this recon here, because I'm expecting him to do something like this. Um, yeah. Uh, just waiting around. Just waiting around. Just waiting around. Just have to make sure I don't throw. So I wanted to get a recon here, but I was like, oh yeah, that Milan too is probably still there, so... Um, so I start hitting these guys with the Hoitzers because there was like four guys in one building. So at least those Jaegers didn't die for nothing. We managed to avenge them a little bit. Um, switch to this and this will be corrected shot. And as you can see, infantry fires take a long time. So even though this is a 26 second aim time, um, probably still be alright. This is not very smart, not very smart. Oof. And yeah, over here I'm trying to find all the... Well, this is giving me pretty good vision on the left side of this one, so I'm just sort of going around. Powitzers help with that fight a little bit. There we go, quite a bit actually. If you get two of these, they're pretty good. One by itself, not so good. Uh, corrected shot's really what, what's making it do the damage, though, because it reduces the dispersion. Uh, this guy's getting howitzered, and you see... That was just one, but he had a corrected shot from this guy. So it almost killed him. Over here, he's doing a cool attack over here. Um, I wanted to use my tanks, but because of the hill, you know, once he gets a green beret to here, he just pops it up, kills everybody. But yeah, I've got lots of people here because I was expecting him to attack around here. Because he kept shooting my helicopters in this area. And also I saw this chin up come in because I was shooting at it. So we get that rule in two, but we don't because we're bad. And then I just bomb this, even though I know there's loads of AA there, I just figure what the hell, I've got four minutes left. Um, and yeah, because this one's not shooting, it was only one roll and two and one Ihawk in that time, I get a bit lucky. So this is going for that M40, the Ihawk's still here though. Um, it does miss, but they, I've got more Ihawks here. Uh, i got, i got, uh, uh, okay. Surprised you got out there, but <laughs> I suppose I got out here, so... And yeah, I'm just buying bombers because I got loads of points saved up and I was like, whatever, my last one made it out, so this one will too. Um, but he takes a bit of a detour and <laughs> he doesn't make it. <laughs> I should have sent him around this way, as opposed to just pressing evac because then he was like, whoa, I'm going to fly over all the enemies. And I'm not attacking anymore because, um, you know, my enemy wants to play a slow game, so will I. Uh, but uh, here I am attacking again. I shouldn't be doing... <laughs> This guy is just really bad. He's fired five Panzerfaust at that Roland too. Sixth time lucky, mate. Whoa, sixth time lucky. Sixth time lucky. So, yeah. Can I get this Milan too? Do get that as well. And so those Roland twos are dead. I lost my Ihawk to artillery. One of my three Ihawks. Still got two left. There's only two minutes left. And, um, yeah, I think at this point he calls it. Around 30 seconds. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a bit of a stale meta. All you do is you get a small point advantage, and then you just defend all game. I did some more attacking; it was completely unnecessary. Didn't make the game last. Uh, didn't make the game end any faster. Although I suppose it forced him to invest all these units here, which I I then could have like moved these around here or something. Uh, but yeah, it's just a really stale meta. Let let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Do you enjoy this meta? If you do, leave a comment. I need to keep track of people like you, so I can, uh, you know, if you ever say anything, I can just be like, oh, yeah, that's coming from this retard. Uh, <laughs> so victory in 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 the literal sense, but I, I didn't have any fun. Um, rank nine versus rank uh, sixty-seven. My KD was much better this time because I played it a bit more, bit more meta, a bit more meta, limited attack, and then just defend as opposed to just attack, 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 which is why I did in game one. And um, yeah, my voice is breaking, my heart is aching. Um, but yeah, once he lost those Mirage two thousands, that was really kind of bad for him after that. And then he only had one Ihawk on the map. I had three. Like he he gets one card. He could have had three Ihawks, I think. 
They only had one. Um, yeah. What can I say? GG, I guess.